Hi, this is Scott with EMG TV. We are here today at the Summit Center in Nashville, Tennessee. And we're here for the first show of the 2009 Nickelback Tour. And we're going to go talk to the guys about EMG. started using EMGs, I mean, I don't even know when, probably even the first time we heard about James Hetfield using EMGs, you know, in his guitars and, and uh, hearing his tone, so here they are, they're doing all the talking now. What I like about the EMGs that I have, these ones in particular, is that they do not color the tone of the instrument, they sound like the instrument. They don't sound like the pickups, they sound like the wood. I mean, they're true. That's what I like the most. They're not really super loud. They're, you know, I don't want to, I don't really want to change the way it sounds. I want it to bring out what tone is in here, and these pickups do just that. It just sounds like the wood, you know, it just sounds like the instrument and nothing, you know. These knobs, they like, they, because it's all passive, these knobs don't, you know, these are the volume. <laughs> this is the tone, and this is the tone at 10, and that's it. You know, there really isn't, a, you know, I'm not, look, like I said before, I'm not looking to re-engineer the tone here. I'll let the amp do that. We just send it a pure, clean, beautiful thing to the to the amp and to the DIs, and everything's cool. I, I've A-B'd this to a lot of things, and, yeah, it's a pretty shocking difference. EMG helps out in the in the life form by being dependable. <laughs> the tone's the same every day we plug the stuff in and and I find also with these ones again, these HDs, they're quiet. So being passive, all the lights creating all that interference, all the wireless gear that's up there, everything, nothing, you know, makes any noise. So they're silent. They're just there's no the only time they make a noise noise is when you play a note, <laughs> which is the only thing I really want to hear. He likes to call this the Buckeye Burl. This wood here is from the burl of a tree, and there, there's trees that have like a root ball underneath them that grows over time that becomes really, really big, and it takes this kind of a this kind of a look to it and this one was from the horse chestnut this burl that's underground like this thing that just sits under there and send me a picture of a block of a tree and if it's a unique looking wood they'll just say something like well do you want us to make one out of that and you'd say yeah throw the MGs in it <laughs> is uh, going to be strictly touring around the world, everywhere. Um, we're already booked through into September, October right now, and going to go on through the balance of the year and into the start of 2010 and, you know, and beyond. Let's see, you know, see how it goes. Hopefully, um, you know, hopefully there's not any problem uh, creating business for ourselves you know the, the last record was pretty extraordinary and the one before that as well so we're just you know we're going to see how long uh, how long the demand exists and we'll go out there and fulfill it <laughs>